This falls under a principle in our deen that is well established in the Quran, in the Sunnah, and the understanding of our righteous predecessors, which is ad deen al nasiha Religion is good advice. And that entails that anything which may harm the believers and their belief from any type of source, internal source, external source, going against it, exposing it, speaking about it, is part of our struggle fi sabilillah. Is part of our struggle fi sabilillah. This is supported by the statement of Imam Ahmad rahimahullah. قيل لأحمد بن حنبل الرجل يصوم ويصلي ويعتكف أحب إليك أو يتكلم في أهل البدع he was, he was said to him a man he prays and he fasts and he secludes himself in the worship of Allah اعتكاف. is that more beloved to you or him speaking about the people of innovation he said إِذَا قَامَ وَصَلَّ وَاعْتَكَفْ فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ لِنَفْسِهِ His salah, his siyam, his i'tikaf is for his own well-being. It's good for him. وَإِذَا تَكَلَّمَ فِي أَهْلِ الْبِدَعْ فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ وَهَذَا أَفْضَلْ However, if he has to, and again, we will, we will uh, qualify these statements. So my advice is whoever is here in this lecture live or will hear it later on YouTube, don't, don't rush into conclusions. For the sake of Allah, hear me out for this one hour. You will see that there's a balanced approach to this, inshallah. This is not by any means some, some attack. It is not. Whoever thinks that the reason behind these clarifications is jealousy. We hear this a lot. Oh, they're jealous. Fulan is jealous of Fulan. So he wrote an article against him. He made a lecture against him. I say this is insane. It's insane. I cannot imagine a da'ya, someone who is calling people to Allah. And when we call people to Allah, what is the ultimate objective? That we all go to Jannah. That is the objective. The means, we don't care about the means, as long as they are halal. The individuals, we don't care about that either. Every da'ya's intention is the well-being of a Muslim. So if I'm unable to do it, he's able to do it, we're happy. We're happy. So to claim that there's some sort of jealousy, that he's got more fans on Facebook, and all because of the age we're living. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, he looked at his uh, number of you know, followers on Facebook. He's like, how do I ramp up mine? So let me make a lecture refuting him. I'll have more you know, fans. Of, this, is, this is retarded. I'm sorry. I don't think any die in this world, no matter how insincere he can be, can even go down to this level. Subhanallah, we want the well-being of the Muslims. And the evidence to support that is that I was the person who recommended this brother. Of course, you know, we're talking about Nu'man Ali Khan. I was the one who recommended him when I discovered his tafsir way back. There's a brother. When I mention all these evil people, it's time to mention good people, inshallah. There's a brother. His name is Nu'man Ali Khan. Anyone heard of him? You haven't heard of him. If you haven't heard of him, Hear it. Nu'man Ali Khan. His website is bayyina.com. Amazing. Wallahi. You listen to this? You listen to this brother man? MashaAllah, tabarakallah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know much about him. I've been listening to him recently and I'm an Arab speaking Arabic. Now when I listen to the Quran, it's a whole other experience because of what I have been listening and the intricate details which you cannot even find in the average tafsir. You get the average tafsir, it doesn't go to this extent. The brother is exerting himself in the science, he reads material, he reads books of all tafsir, and he's unbelievable work, unbelievable work. If this was about jealousy, then you wouldn't even mention another day. You wouldn't even mention it. Why give him popularity, give him exposure, keep him hidden, no one should know about him, only me. This is not how a da'i thinks. So anyone whose first idea is, this is because of jealousy, we say, fear Allah. You did not go into the intentions of any one of the du'at who might have spoken about this recent issue for you to say that he is doing it out of jealousy. You have no right to say that about any da'i.
And I defend anyone who spoke about this matter. And the good assumption entails that no one did this out of jealousy. It could be uh, ex over excitement, it could be right, it could be wrong. Each one has his own situation. But jealousy is definitely not one of them. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.